Facebook says it is developing the next step in the future of communication. Only on CBS This Morning, we are getting a behind-the-scenes look at the social media giant's new virtual reality platform that creates lifelike replicas of real people doing that with their mouth. But it involves the mass collection of data, and Facebook still faces criticism for scandals surrounding how it handles the personal information of its more than 1.5 billion daily users. DeMarco Morgan got a first look at the technology at a lab in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Expression? To create an avatar that looks, moves, and sounds like you. Of your face really, really tight. 180 cameras and 500 lights capture your face. That's cool. You are. <laughs> from different angles. Puff out your cheeks. Making all sorts of silly faces. You are doing fantastic. 180 mm -hmm. yes. cameras. Cameras. High resolution, high frame rate. So why so many? Mm -hmm. So the reason is because we want to be able to understand exactly how you look from every different viewpoint. Because in virtual reality, we might move and look at you from different perspectives, and it has to look as real as you do. Yasser Sheikh directs the Facebook Reality Lab in Pittsburgh creating these avatars. It's an evolution from the telephone to video conferencing, and this could be the next sort of way of actually spending time with a friend you haven't met in 10 years. You can both sort of say, let's meet at the Eiffel Tower, and suddenly you materialize there. Oh, wow. When you put the goggles on, you see a three-dimensional version of the person you are talking to, so it feels like they are right in front of you. Oh, this looks real. To make it real, the scanner captures 180 gigabytes of data per second. That's less than two seconds to fill a typical laptop hard drive. A lot of data to give a social media platform like Facebook. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. Which is still reeling from a series of massive data scandals last year including the improper collection of 87 million users' data by a political consulting firm, 50 million accounts compromised by hackers, and reported deals made by Facebook to share intrusive access to user data with more than 150 different companies, including Netflix and Amazon, which Facebook denies. It's impossible not to ask the question, is there a dark side to this? Peter Rubin is a senior correspondent at Wired who covers virtual and augmented reality. It collects a lot of data about us and increasingly about the way that we look and the way that we behave and the way we react to things. It feels much more invasive than just having our web surfing monitored. But Facebook says security is a top priority. Any concerns about hackers? Of course, something which I consider to be the existential threat to this kind of technology. If we are not mindful of this and develop safeguards in the system itself, it really threatens the viability of this entire medium of communication. For CBS This Morning, to Marco Morgan, Pittsburgh.